What is up guys, COD Gameplay here. In today's video, I am bringing you a gun breakdown video of the Peacekeeper. But before I get started, if you guys have not already checked out my new channel called Trolling Nation TV, I did make an announcement video, but I believe some of you guys haven't actually seen it. Click the link in the description or the annotation on screen. It'll open up a new window and you can subscribe to Trolling Nation TV. It is a trolling channel where I post uh, your guys' videos, funny, hilarious videos, and uh, I just want it to be the best community trolling channel possible because, well, I love trolling videos so much and I thought, you know what, I, I think I could do it. I think I could uh, have some fun while at the same time bring you guys some amazing content. But anyways, getting to the video. The Peacekeeper is an SMG. This gun, in my opinion, before getting to the statistics, is not the best gun in the game, but is not the worst at the same time. I feel that this gun was made to be, to play almost like an assault rifle, but the running gun style of an SMG, because the damage at a very, very close range is not that high. It is not like crazy, crazy high compared to the, uh, maybe the M MSMC. And the RPM is actually the lowest of its class. 700 RPM compared to the 720 lowest, which is previously in the MSMC or the PDW. And so compared with the, not the highest damage, this gun does not have a very, very close range combat that, that would kill people really fast. But at the same time, this gun drop off is really really far it is almost as much as an assault rifle the highest in this class of any smg so if you're battling someone long range and you can somehow hold that recoil to stay constant you are going to be able to kill the enemy a lot easier with this gun compared to any other smg so i'd say this smg if you're going to pick it it's probably the most versatile smg that you can pick in the game i still think that the best smg in the game is a pdw or msmc but i say that this can compete for a close number two or a really easy number three with the mp7 so getting into the statistics of this gun it has a clip size of 30, with extended megs it has a clip size of 40. The damage is 33, that is out of a potential health of 100. And the damage at 9,999 meters, which is unlimited distance, is 18. So, a 3 shot will be 0 to 20 meters, and a 6 shot will be anything past, I believe it's... 60 meters 70 meters is gonna be a six shot so it it doesn't have it's obviously if you're gonna be playing a very long distance game go with an assault rifle an LMG a sniper but if you're mostly close quarters and you run into those odd encounters of the long range this gun can kill them it it won't beat them in a 1v1 with an assault rifle or a LMG because obviously they are better but at the same time this won't be an automatic death and you can somehow compete in the situation if you are behind cover going into the rpm the rpm is 700 regular which is the lowest of its class in the smgs like i explained and with the rapid fire it actually has 900 rpm the reload time on this gun is 1.96 which is pretty fast for a gun and adding fast makes to this makes it reload crazy fast you are not going to be having troubles reloading this gun very often. The raise time is 0.62 seconds and the movement speed along with any other SMG is 100%. Um, the LMGs and the assault rifles are under 100%. Everything is measured to the SMGs. Anyways, what I really like riding on this gun is the fast megs and the laser sight. I really find the laser sight in this gun to actually help me a lot. When I'm in this close quarter confrontations, um, I just like hit firing with this gun. I feel this, the, the hit fire in this gun, the spread, is really close. Uh, almost, I'm not sure if it's closer than any, any other SMG, but I just find that I can kill people relatively fast whenever I'm hit firing with laser sight. Um, if you're not going with the laser sight, I say long barrel because the long barrel will increase the distance by 15% and the damage by a little bit as well. And I always love a long barrel on an SMG. But with that being said, a long distance, the recoil of this gun is vertical. So when you're shooting a long distance, you're going to have to burst fire pretty hard because the vertical um, recoil of this gun happens uh, pretty random I'd say because you'll start shooting maybe three four five bullets Maybe even six bullets and all of a sudden it'll start skipping up Relatively fast so you need to be able to hold the recoil 
pretty well. And if you can do that, burst fire, you're going to be really good off at this gun. I say use this gun in maps like this, where most of the time you are in close range. And But you know what? If you do come into that long range confrontation, you can still win it. You can still compete. And that is the exact reason why I think the Peacekeeper is made. And personally, I think it's a good gun. I like using it. I'll be using it oft pretty often. Um, I think it'll be one of my top five weapons in the game to use, just because it's a relatively fun gun to use, and uh, it's brand new. I love using brand new guns and trying something new. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My end score of this game was 60 and 3 with the Peacekeeper. This is like my third game playing with a gun, and the first time playing on this map, actually. And it actually went pretty, pretty well. Sadly, the enemy team left quite a bit, and I wasn't able to get an 80 plus, maybe even 100 plus in regular 6v6 domination. But you know what? It happens. It's still a good game. Can't deny that. And if you guys already have not, click the like button or the subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel. Comment, what do you guys think of the new DLC? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the key Peacekeeper? Have you used it all? Picked it up off the ground? What's your opinions of the Peacekeeper? Do you think it should be buffed, nerfed? Um, anything changed? And what's your favorite setup to ride with it? Um, also, if you have not subscribed to my second channel, like I said at the beginning, of this video do so now and i'm called gameplay i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will catch you guys later peace